Hello YouTubers, welcome to um, the Highlands of Scotland. Now this is a place called Tarbert Ness, um, which is on a peninsula in Ross and Cromarty in the northeast uh, side of Scotland. Uh, the nearest village is a place called Port Mahomet, where I was, where I lived for, I don't know, a few years, uh, up until the age of 10 at least. And I've come back, I've driven here from Yorkshire, and it's about a seven, eight hour drive. So here I am. Today's tent of choice is the Fox 2 version 2 by OEX. Um, massive sale on, I got this from uh, Go Outdoors, I think it was 70 pounds. Uh, but I'm paying for it with a tent that was given to me, uh, which I'm now selling. I have two that I'm selling, so that's paid for that. This is something I did have to buy. It's a self-inflating pillow uh, by uh, The Dreamer by High Gear. So we'll see how we get on with that. Although I do have some pillows with me as well. This is an out-try um, tarp. That's all it is, a tarp with the metal rings in it, but it's quite big. I don't think I'll need it, but I thought I'd bring it anyway. And these, because I'm in the car, are the super heavy pegs that are easy to pull out. Poof. And that's pretty much it. Although I do have the usual luxuries of a little camping chair, a little stove, uh, and I've been shopping. And I think tonight we'll have a little surprise in store, in store. Something, something Scottish, I think. I've made a bit of a classic mistake. I've pegged it in because you have to, to stop it collapsing. But I kind of want it more over this way and maybe a little bit back. So I think I'm gonna unpeg it and start again. Or maybe I won't. <laughs> I am sweating a little bit, that's just because I'm unfit, but I'm really enjoying it because it is a lot simpler. It's a lot lighter. And I'm very happy so far with this tent. I forgot to bring my bed. I have no bed. Um, that's what comes from overthinking, I think. I was gonna bring my big inflatable, my single inflatable thing. I think they're five pounds in Tesco. So trip to Tesco's tomorrow. Luckily though, you're thinking, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna lie on this rough ground? It's actually a little bit soft, so that's a good thing. But I do have with me a duvet. Ugh. And a big, uh, a very big uh, plushy like blanket. So I think I'm gonna be all right. Thanks, thanks for worrying. So this is me for tonight. Uh, as I say, it's six. It's 6 p.m. Uh, it's feeling kind of darkish. It's very cloudy. Uh, there's a blue sky popping out over there. I'm waiting for the lighthouse to come on. That'll be exciting. And uh, this is a path just here. So people will be walking up and down tomorrow with dogs, but uh, that's fine. I think the next thing to do is uh, do some cooking, but because there's grass around here and I'm gonna use an open fire, I'm gonna pop down onto the rocks to do it, I think. Probably the best thing, sensible. Oh, and forgive me, I've made a I've made a, a terrible mistake. Have I mentioned that you know you can like, subscribe, and comment down below if you've got any tips for me? Um, the subscribing part's not important. If you don't want to, I get it. I don't subscribe to a lot of people as well, but uh, it helps me out. It helps me bop myself up the charts with YouTube and uh, gets me a little bit more um, leeway and makes this the sweat you've got here. Uh, although I am enjoying this, there are times where I think, why am I doing this? Why am I not just lying at home? But making the videos, um, if I wasn't making the video, I don't know if I would be doing this, put it that way. Because it's, it, I feel like I'm sharing something and um, I feel like you're with me uh, and I, it, it makes it more fun, you know, to um, be able to, <laughs> to, to verbalize what's going on and just have fun with yourself, really. So if I wasn't videoing this, it, um, it wouldn't be half as much fun as it is. So I guess I, I owe that to you. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching it. And, uh, you know, sticking around. I'm really enjoying making these videos and uh, I'm getting a little bit fitter as I go and I'm learning lots and I'm getting out and about. And uh, it's very good for the, uh, the old mental health, which I don't have any issues with, really. I wonder if there's any bats. I don't know about bats. You get bats by the water.
Right, I got my fire going. Uh, I was going to have a coffee, but I, I want to sleep well tonight. Look at that. I've moved on to the higher rocks here. These are square sausages. A Scottish delicacy, they tell me. Look at the picture. Is that... <laughs> Doesn't that look, doesn't that look terrible? Uh, I got some rolls, which I normally wouldn't eat. I don't normally eat bread. Boom, brown sauce. Can't get into it. I have to use a feather. Here you go, I found a feather. One feather. Oh. Right, who needs knives when you've got nature? Nature helping you out. Put some more here. Plenty of heat there, at least. As you can probably tell, it's getting quite dark. And, uh, do you know, I swear I just saw the Aurora Borealis over there. It was just like a spot, and it was kind of like changing colour. And it's clouds, the light is just changing. The sky's so big. Look at the sky over there is like meeting the, the horizon and you've got the red over here. You can see there's rain over there. So this is what we've got going on. I'm just uh, burning my bread, it looks like. I need to flip that egg a little bit. And then we've got a sandwich. Right, are you ready? There it is. <laughs> One. One bit of Lauren sausage, squared cooked sausage, an egg, the best looking butty ever, but the daddy sauce. You can't have a Lauren sausage without daddy sauce and they're not sponsoring this video. Oh! You can taste the, the breadiness of the <coughs> bread. The sausageness of the sausage. The egg is really coming through eggy. And the daddy's brown ketchup just tastes like sugar and vinegar. Absolutely disgusting. Right. Next, I'm gonna try and get comfortable in my uh, little bed, which is not gonna be comfortable. And we shall have coffee in the morning. And the lighthouse should just come on. I can't believe the luck I've had getting this. Morning. Happy half past one in the morning. I've been shifting around from shoulder to shoulder. It's hard to sleep on the ground. Pretty good setup here, guys. Loads of space down there for my shoes. There's my uh, rucksack. There's my shoes. You see, I've got a duvet and I've got a sleeping bag and I've got a, a blanket here. And here I've got like a travel towel. That's my sort of camera bag. That's my watch. There's a little iPad there with downloaded stuff on it. Um, pillows. So everything is here. How lucky do you feel having me share this joy, this camping joy with you? The uh, tent is, um, I really like it actually, but uh, I'll watch a couple more shows on the iPad then. Oh, as you can see I'm tired, so that's a good sign. But I'm happy to announce or declare that I am still loving it every single second, so. That's good news. I can hear this thing fluttering. Right. Oh! Ah. How do you get in here? Well, there's no sign of the sun yet. I can see the sea. It all looks quite dark because of the, the lighting that I'm using, which is not proper. Just the, just the old camp light here. It comes with the uh, the rig, 
put that there. But um, it's wet outside. It's not pouring the rain, but the grass is all wet. I actually really like this tent. I like this um, the little toggle system they have here, which I think all tents have, to be fair. But I think once I get a comfy bed in here, I'm going to have a great night's sleep. It's a great little device. You, uh, you get your gas. Like so. And you screw it onto your... Screw it onto there. Like so. Oh. Oh no, it's the wrong type. It's the wrong type. It won't screw. Why are they doing different types? Oh, that's rubbish. No coffee then. Why can't they be universal? How, how good do I look this morning? Pretty baggy. You know, I'm not going to believe what I did. Yesterday, I think I was a bit stressed, like, you know, I've got to get set up and, you know, it's all going to be okay. And it's a new bag. And as I was packing it, I was like, what's that? At the bottom of the bag. And I shoved my hand in and lo and behold was the bed. So I went through a rough night sleeping on this hard floor, pretty much, while I had an inflatable this deep bed in that bag over there all along. So, uh, so that's given me a little bit of time. So I thought what I would do is, before I end the video, I would briefly pop uh, into the local village. There's a little village nearby, about three miles away, called Port Mahomic. And it was, I lived in Port Mahomic from the age of, I don't know, I don't know, five to like 10-ish, something like that. And I used to come to places like this, you know, and go for walks along the beach and stuff. I wasn't going for walks, I was playing. But um, I thought I'd go and show you a bit of it. So here we are, welcome to Port Mahomet, uh, in, a, in the peninsula of Tarbert Nest on the east coast of Scotland, right up in the highlands. It's a fishing village really, but I lived here from the age of about five to I reckon nine, or something like that, maybe ten. And then we moved from here down to Yorkshire. Uh, and that was an awesome experience. But I quite enjoyed living here, I've got to be honest. There was not much to, not much to do, but you could just wander around. Uh, there was enough kids to get to know. And uh, I used to go for miles around, you know, just to play. And uh, it's a fantastic place to live as a kid. I fell off that, this pier right at the end there. You can just see at the end there, uh, the strip of wood going along the edge. I put my foot, I was on my bike and I put my foot down to sort of look down in the water, but the, the, there's a strip of wood that I was going to rest my foot on and it was soaking wet and it just slipped and I fell straight off into the water. That's fine, hit my head. Thanks for asking. I think these anchors have been here even when I was a kid. These are lobster pots or creels, as we used to call them. And these will be loaded onto these small boats in the background. Really heavily loaded, by the way, and taken out and placed in a pattern at a spot that the uh, fisher person has uh, bagsied. Right, time to get back. That concludes my tour, <laughs> or my look at Port Mahomet. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions or tips for me about camping, please lay them down in the comments section. Thanks for watching. You take care. Cheerio.